Hey everyone, this is Michael Huber and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial using Photoshop um, on making an animated GIF of rainfall. So I took this picture of my backyard on a foggy morning and I thought it looks like it could rain anytime. So let's let's see if we can make that happen. So the first thing we need to do is create another layer. So I go over to this folded uh, paper icon, click on that, and we've got a new layer. I also want to fill that layer so click down here, fill it with a solid color, fill it to black. All right, then we need to add some noise. So if we go up to filter, noise, add noise, rasterize, sure. Um, and you can play with the slider, uh, I don't know, around 50%, maybe that looks good. I guess. The critical thing here is that we want to make sure we have Gaussian checked and monochromatic checked. Alright, so now since we want the rain to move, we need this layer to be larger than the background layer because we're going to slide it around. You'll see that in a second. So if we go up to Edit, Transform, Scale, you can kind of push and pull, but I'll just go up here to the, the height We'll make this height uh, 300%. So you can see now it's larger in the width. Since we may want to skew the rain, let's make that 130%. So you can see the size of the base image below. And then the, the uh, rain layer is now larger. So hit enter. And then since the rain doesn't usually come straight down, maybe a little diagonal, We'll go to Edit, Transform that layer and rotate it. So there's our layer again. Rotate it a little bit. That looks pretty good. Hit Enter. All right, so now we want to be able to see the picture below. Uh, so we'll go and change the style of that layer to um, Overlay. So now we can see the image, but barely. So let's reduce the opacity of that rain maybe down to... 30, 30 to 35% or so. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Now we need to animate it. So if we go up to Window, uh, Timeline, you'll see that pop, this bar pops up down below, and it says Create Video Timeline. Click on that, and since we were still on that uh, layer where we filled it with color, that pops up in the window here. And uh, the default on mine, at least, is 5 seconds, 1 second, 2 seconds. And it's saying that it's 30 frames a second. So I'm just, since it's a static picture other than the rain, I'm just going to bring that down to 2 seconds here. All right, so now this little triangle by the color fill. Um, basically, we want to create a keyframe, the start of the rain. So right there is good enough. We'll click on that little stopwatch. And this yellow diamond means, okay, you're starting the keyframe here. So if we grab the slider, bring that to the end of our clip, and then click on the rain and drag that in diagonally here. How much rain can we have in two seconds, do you think? Something like that, maybe? Um, and then it created another keyframe where it ended. So if we hit play... Well, that looks pretty good. So you can speed up the rain, slow down the rain, depending upon how much you drag that. All right, so now I think this is a pretty big picture. And since to view an an animated GIF, it has to be on the web, I think I'm just going to reduce the image size of this picture now to maybe a, a height of, I don't know, 800 pixels maybe. Okay. Um, so now we need to export this. So if we go to File, Save for the Web, since it's going to be viewed on the web, um, you can see we've got GIF selected. Uh, colors, we got half the colors. Let's do 256, put all the colors back in there. Um, it will convert to sRGB, which is computer, monitor, web stuff. Um, but here's where the magic happens, where we, we, the looping options. We don't want it just to go once and end. We want it to rain forever. Uh, so we'll click on forever. 
and then hit save. So we'll call this rain save. And then let's minimize this. Uh, open it up and view it in the browser and there you have it. Uh, rain. So hopefully you can see that and uh, kind of a fun little thing to try. So thanks for watching.